Hello and welcome to Sunset Seekers. We are so very honored that you stopped by to check out this video. If you're new to this channel, we do mostly state park campground reviews, so if you're looking for some good RV related content, then you should hit that subscribe button. We have a number of campground reviews in our video library along with how-to videos and product reviews, but the purpose of this video is to give you a tour of this awesome little travel trailer made by Grand Design. It's a 17 MKE model and one of the nicest and most well-equipped travel trailers that we've ever seen in this class and weight range. The 17 MKE is 21 feet long and has a dry weight of just over 4,700 pounds, so you can tow this rig with just about anything, but a half-ton pickup truck is still your best option for towing this trailer in our opinion. Now this won't be a very lengthy tour where we cover the outside and inside in great detail, but just a brief look at some of the highlights that this rig has to offer. This rig belongs to my sister Natalie, and this is only her second camping trip, so I'm giving her a little bit of assistance as she's backing in here. One of the challenges that every new RVer faces is learning how to back in your rig at the campsite. Regardless of what kind of RV you have, this is always a daunting task, and the only way to get over the anxiety is through practice and experience. We're here at Brushy Creek Corps of Engineer Campground, located on Lake of the Pines, deep in the Piney Wood Forest of East Texas. We chose this campground because of its close proximity to our home and also because it happens to be one of our favorite campgrounds. This was the very same campground that Christy and I had our first camping trip in our fifth wheel, so it was only fitting that my sister Natalie had one of her first camping trips here as well. could back it up just a little bit more. You got plenty of space. Well, if I back it up more, then my door's going to be like right here. Right. I might back it up like another foot. That looks good. Look at you. Second RV trip, you're already a pro. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. If you're new to RVs or you find yourself in the market for a new RV, let me just tell you that you should definitely consider putting Grand Design on your list. Now, I'm not a spokesman for Grand Design. I don't actually even own a Grand Design RV, although my next upgrade just might be. But Grand Design has a reputation for higher build quality, and you'll find certain things that come standard on a Grand Design that you won't find on every RV of comparable class and size. Christy and I have toured literally hundreds of RVs over the years, and we can tell you from personal experience that the Grand Design RVs that we have toured have always lived up to that reputation. My sister's new RV is no exception. This little trailer is loaded with extras that would be hard to find on a travel trailer of this size, starting with an electric tongue jack. Okay, moving to the inside. Got the, love these entry steps here. Good quality entry step. Moving inside. It's got an awesome slide in here that really opens the space up. For a rig that is only 21 feet long, there is a lot of space in here. Just love the way that this is laid out. It comes standard with some really, really nice seating right here. These seats have uh, have heat, they have a light, they have massage. Um, they, they are recliners here. They do recline. And both of them do recline, both sides here. And in order to save space, they have put in a Murphy bed on this side right here, but you do have some extra seating when the Murphy bed is up. 
on the side here you've got on either side you've got pretty good storage here down below and the drawers here also as well good storage down below this is a big storage bin here on either side too so again for a rig that's this size it's got really really good storage I like that it has enough windows in it also especially in the slide here that it lets in some really good natural light then you have then you have the little smoked glass there in the door which lets in natural light and look at this I mean this is amazing for a travel trailer that's, that's this size to have this much counter space and it does and this particular rig did come with a Roku TV really nice TV just everything look at all of this space that's in here look at all the storage these are huge huge bins for storage underneath the sink I mean they really designed this thing for some storage even underneath even underneath the oven look at that look at that that is great above you have all these cabinets for storage and look that goes way back in there that is a deep storage bin there Now right here you have your DVD player, your radio, and these are all of your controls right here. And uh, also your, your tank levels. Um, the water heater is gas and electric. Uh, there's your water pump. There's your lighting exterior and in for the ceiling and the exterior. Uh, here's your awning and your slide in and out. All your controls are right there. This was a kind of a neat fe feature right here that came with the rig, this little roll-up thing that you can use for drying dishes. It has a very large sink here. This is a neat feature right here. I like how these kind of light up right here. That's kind of neat nice little stove and on the top of course you have a three burner stove made by Curion. look at all this counter space back in there great great counter space got your refrigerator here good size refrigerator and the refrigerator is electric or gas very good air conditioning unit it stays really nice and, and cool in here and I like the fact that you have all these vents right here you've got your dump valve right here for, for when you first come into the rig and then when you close it up you have all of these you have all these vents that you can directionally move move the air around the cabin I also like the fact that it has a fantastic fan right here in the kitchen right in front of the refrigerator right where the stove is located as well as in the bathroom speaking of the bathroom look at the size of this bathroom now i remind you that this rig is only 21 feet long and here you have a full-size stand-up shower nice little sink toilet good size bathroom and again carrying on with the storage here look at all these little cubbies here to the side that's awesome then you have some storage right there and then look at this huge medicine cabinet look at that I mean that is just fantastic under the sink here huge storage area so you know listen if you're looking for an RV that's got good storage and you're looking for a rig that's around this size and weight this rig is perfect for you outstanding rig a little skylight there okay now this is the Murphy bed right here again there is great seating here when the Murphy bed is up and in the stove position bring this down
Now, another thing that really impressed me about this rig was the mattress that comes with this. This is a really good, high-quality mattress. It's not like your standard cheap, you know, really paper-thin uh, mattress that you get on your on your average RV. This is a mattress made by Serta, and it is really, really comfortable. I mean, just look at the thickness of that. That is a great mattress. Now, with the Murphy bed down, you have little cubbies on either side here that have USB ports and plugs. Got good space where you can still get through to the door. There is a little bit of a cramped space here, but you know, with a rig that's this size, you know, you're gonna you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of space when the Murphy bed is down. But all in all, this is a great design rig. So if you're looking for something that's in this weight range and size definitely recommend the Grand Design 17 MKE.